Steve, is taxing unrealized gains legal? Uh, it depends on whether Congress passes a new law and whether the courts uphold the law. And so a lot of this uh, uh, billionaire tax stop is a novel, untested. Uh, there are good arguments uh, if Congress passes it for the courts to sustain it, but also good arguments against the tax being constitutional. And, and so we'll have to see how things play out. What would the, what would the argument against constitutional, constitutionality be, Steve? Well, uh, our Constitution generally prevents tax on property or on wealth. Um, and that's actually what led us uh, to the 16th Amendment uh, to allow taxing on income, uh, which at one time was viewed as tax on property, until the 16th Amendment made clear that it was a tax on income and was allowable. But we don't really know about taxing unrealized gains as to whether that would be income that would fit under the 16th Amendment, or more generally, uh, is a billionaire's income tax, in effect, a tax on wealth, because you have to be, well, not really a billionaire, but you have to have $100 million of assets. And so if the tax is turned on or turned off by ownership of property, is that, in effect, an unconstitutional tax on property, even though the tax is measured uh, by this unrealized gain, which some would contend is income and protected under the 16th Amendment, yeah. and others would protect would well, argue it's not. For, for, for a country where you're not supposed to be taxed on property, it fe I feel like I'm taxed on a lot of property, man. <laughs> I, my property taxes in New Jersey are, are very high. Let me ask you this, because I don't understand it, Steve. Uh, let's say I'm um, the founder of a startup company, and I have a lot of stock at an extraordinarily low basis, and my stock then becomes worth $500 million. Um, would I be taxed on the difference between that low basis uh, and the $500 million in year one? Okay. And then what happens in year two? Am I still taxed again from the low basis to the $500 million, or is it from $500 million to whatever it is in the next year? Sure. Um, by the way, I should correct. Federal government is limited on property oh, tax. Oh, federal government. Oh, the it's states. free for your state and local governments to tax you up as much as they want on property. Oh, and they do. But, and they do. Okay, with respect to your hypothetical, uh, one of the interesting things about uh, the Biden's uh, min b b billionaire minimum income taxes, as you, we, you observed earlier, it's not really on billionaires. Um, and it's not really you know, a minimum tax. It's actually not even an income tax. But um, it's a deposit against eventual tax liability. Uh, it's a prepayment. And so the government will collect uh, the first year 20% of your unrealized gains, in your case, $100 million uh, of taxes. Mm -hmm. There's an installment plan where the taxes are paid over nine years, at least at the start of the, of, of the new proposal, uh, and then five years later into the proposal. There'll be an installment plan of you writing checks. But that's really not a tax liability. It's a deposit. It's a prepayment of ultimate tax liability uh, when you sell the stock. Or separately, Biden wants to tax unrealized gains at death, and the credit would be allowed against any tax at death as well. Uh, now, in your example, the stock uh, appreciated a little more, and so there'd be further appreciation and a further installment tax uh, on the increment. If your stock disappeared in value, you would eventually get a refund uh, uh, for, with respect to the fact that your stock plunged in value. So it's a peculiar thing. Uh, this minimum tax, this billionaire's minimum tax, really isn't a billionaire's tax, really isn't a tax at all, and it's not really on income. Why? So it's a little peculiar.